Hey there, Alex here from Paperform. Now, while many of our users already enjoy the power of calculations, there's plenty of folks out there who are yet to discover how to utilize this feature. So join us as we deep dive into calculations and learn how to build more powerful forms. So you're stepping into the world of calculations. Well, then you're obviously curious and eager to learn more about this powerful feature. And if you're not, trust me, by the end of this video, you will be. Paperform's Calculation Field. It is a must-have feature for businesses that need more power from their forms, a perfect solution for those that require unique needs and want to create an engaging experience for their submitters and customers. A calculation field is a type of form field that performs mathematical calculations based on user input. Basically, a calculation field allows you to filter and format your form data, letting you take existing info from your form and outputting something completely new. But when would you or your team use a calculation field? Let's say you have created an order form for your business and to entice customers to purchase more, you offer free shipping on all orders over $100. Well, you can utilize the calculation field to determine the total price of your customer's order, then remove the shipping fee if the total value is over $100. Or perhaps you're creating a registration form for an event that has a standard attendance fee of $60 per person, but for those that purchase their ticket before June 1st, they receive a 20% discount. You can add a calculation field to the form that captures the current date and applies a discount to the total price if it is before June 1st. But calculations are not just limited to numbers. Maybe you have created a signup form that prompts the submitter to accept a terms of service agreement. You can add a calculation field that outputs an error message informing the submitter that they must rectify this while simultaneously disabling the submitter's ability to complete the form. Likewise, if you are creating a form that should only be submitted by those over 18 years of age, you can create a formula that obtains the current date and time and checks it by the submitter's date of birth. If a submitter is under 18, you can utilize form logic to dynamically hide the remaining sections of the form. Now, creating a calculation field is easy. Either add a question field and change the field type to calculation or use the slash command shortcut. Once you have created a calculation field, you'll need to specify a formula either using math operators such as addition and multiplication or functions like an if statement or switch statement. Calculations can be tricky, so the best process to follow when first dipping your toes in is to take advantage of the live preview. Here, it will display the calculation output using the last submission available. It is also here that an error message will be displayed when your calculation formula is incorrect. To test your calculation formula without fail, it is always best to make your calculation field visible in the form so you can see the end result and start running test submissions to see what value your calculation produces. If you navigate to your calculation field's configuration, you'll notice below the formula input, which is here, the how to use calculations directory. It is here you can find the supported operators and functions, along with example formulas and documentation to help you on your way. If we search date and time, we can see the functions available. Notice the now function, it will pull the current date and time. If we were to use this function in our formula, notice the format of that output value. Well, if you wanted to learn how to format that output value, you can search the directory for format. We could then use the date format function and refer to the directory for our formatting options. The basic purpose of a calculation field is to filter and format your data. You can pull in data by selecting the icon to the right of your field's input, which will display a menu with all available data from your form. Or you can type two front-facing curly brackets, then search for the correlating question field. If we make a selection, then navigate to our form's live view, we can now see how the dynamic value appears. Jumping back into the calculation field, you will notice randomized characters inside those curly brackets. This is the prefill key of the question we selected. It is how the server understands what data to use. Hovering over that prefill key or clicking outside of the formula input, it will then display the question title. Pulling in a submitter's response is a process called answer piping. And much like we can use answer piping to pull in and display a submitter's response within our calculation field, we can use answer piping to display our calculation field's output in other places of our form. Let's navigate back to the calculation field's configuration and work together to create some formulas. We can create simple math operations like one plus one or one plus one multiplied by two plus two. Or for a form with number fields, 
we can multiply number field one by number field two. But why stop there? Let's look at the examples I provided earlier. Here is a simple order form. To entice customers to purchase more, I have offered free shipping on all orders over $100. My form contains questions asking for customers' personal details, a product field where they can purchase more than one product, and a price field with a fixed price of $20 that attributes a shipping fee to the form. Let's create a calculation field. And for this example, we will use an if statement. If the total amount of products selected is greater than or equal to 100, then the formula will output a value of 20. If the total amount falls below 100, then zero will be the output value. We would then navigate to configure, payments, and create a custom pricing rule that subtracts the calculation value from the form. Let's look at another example. Here, I have a simple voting form that should only be submitted by those over 18 years of age. My form contains questions prompting the submitter to provide their name, address, and date of birth, but we need to create a calculation field. Okay, so we know how to pull in the submitter's response to the date of birth question, but how can we work out if they're 18? Well, remember the now function? Look at the example formula provided. It has already done the work for us. This particular formula determines if someone born on the 22nd of July, 1986 is 18. If they are, then the calculation field will output, you can vote. If they are not, then an error function occurs, stopping the respondent from submitting the form, along with the output value, you are too young to vote. Now, here is something that we need to discuss, DOB. No, not specifically the acronym. Within this formula, DOB is a variable and so is age. A variable in a formula is a placeholder. It's a letter, symbol, or characters that represents a value that can change or vary. If I were to change the variable value from the date example provided and use answer piping to pull in the submitter's response to the date of birth question, anywhere I use DOB, the system will understand the value to now be that of the submitter's response. Now, you must end a statement with a semicolon to separate multiple statements. This is to ensure proper execution and logical flow. If we remove the semicolon, notice the error message in our live preview. Something to remember. Don't forget that you can control when the calculation field is visible here and even apply question visibility logic. If your calculation includes an error function, it will need to be visible in order to disable submissions. Well, that's all from me today. Now it's over to you to begin implementing calculations on your forms. By utilizing the calculation field, it enables you to create more dynamic, interactive, and functional forms. Make sure to check out our calculations cheat sheet, as well as our library of calculation templates, which we've linked in the description of this video. For more info on calculations or anything paper form, make sure to check out our help center. And remember, if you can imagine it, you can paper form it.